Rap OGs are the founding fathers of rap and helped pioneer it to what it is today. Yet lately they have not been liking these new rappers as quote talent and they have made it very obvious that they don't. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win any of these items on the screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Ice Cube. You know what I'm doing. I'm doing the coast song. I'm going to check out some of the new West Coast flavor that's coming out and see which one of these youngsters I'm a co-sign. Ice Cube. When you consider the history of rap, there are a few names that definitely stand out. And Ice Cube is part of that legacy due to his time in NWA. The legendary rap group started the careers of many major rappers, including Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. And after the group broke up, the two made their marks on the industry in a big way a way that many have praised for a variety of reasons. But back in 2010, Ice Cube was asked about why he doesn't help the younger generation of rappers and he kept his feelings very succinct on the matter. They ain't on my level. I don't even remember even meeting these clowns or even being in the same room with any of them. They can't make a name for themselves, so they need help from the OGs. I refuse to throw them a lifeline. F them. It ain't my job to make nobody famous. Now to be clear, he's not saying that none of them have talent, but he notes that many of them are looking to OGs like him to try and make a name. And honestly, he's right. A lot of collaborations in recent years have featured an OG and a new rapper, with the new rapper getting more fame because of the collaboration. A popular one, and infamous one, is Kanye West teaming up with Lil Pump to do the song I Love It, which got a lot of attention for being a completely vulgar song that was used for an adult film awards expo. It's Kanye. So are you really surprised? Back on Ice Cube, he even noted that he used to help the younger generation, but it was tiring for him. Why don't I produce up and coming rappers like I used to? I got burnt out couldn't take the baton and run with it. I was sick of babysitting grown men and walking them through the industry. I felt like Dr. Frankenstein building uncontrollable monsters. How? If you don't make them a star, they blame you. If you do make them a star, they leave you. I got sick of that ungrateful. That may sound harsh, but it's another true thing. The young rappers really do go where the money is and the OGs know it which makes them all the more furious because while they are about the money, they're also about loyalty. And Ice Cube hates that the younger generation doesn't have that. Snoop Dogg. Found the same. Snoop Dogg is without a doubt one of the most famous OGs on the market. He's still living the high life, all the while proving why he's still epic. I mean, think about it. Snoop Dogg is the most laid back guy on earth in many ways, which is why many people love him. And yet when 6 9 gets brought up, oh yeah. He goes off. The DLWG has never been afraid to note the lack of style that 6ix9ine has had in his music, life, looks, and more. And then, when he went and did snitch to the government after getting arrested in November 2018 on a variety of charges, oh yeah, that was the last straw for Snoop. He went and noted during an interview about 6ix9ine that they should let the rat rot. And he went on to note, the era I came from, you couldn't tell, snitching, working with the federal government. After the government shut down, the decides to work with the federal government? I swear to God, this new gangbanging is robotic to me. So yeah, Snoop Dogg ain't happy. And if 6 9 gets out, he's going to know that Snoop Dogg is rooting against him in regards to getting back into rap. And clearly, he won't be alone in that thought process. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with music? Well, a couple of things, not the least of which is the generation gap. While Snoop is a famous rapper, he also ran with some groups back in the day, as did a lot of legendary rappers, and a quote code was put in with them that you don't rat under any circumstances. 6 9 did that in less than 3 months behind bars. That was a serious red flag. Especially when you consider that 6 9 talked a lot about how tough he was, and how he was the true king of New York and all that. So for him to say that, then turn rat, that burns OGs like Snoop up. Eminem. Oh yeah, Eminem. He was like, he was like, Lil Xan, Lil Pump, imitate Lil Wayne. And I was like, yeah, I, I definitely imitate Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, when it comes to Eminem, he just can't stand what's going on with the young rap generation. He honestly hates them with a passion in most cases. But by his own admission, he's willing to admit that he doesn't want to destroy all of them with his music, just most. What's well, one that skates by his good graces? Lil Yachty. Eminem did indeed diss Lil Yachty when he released his Kamikaze album in 2018, but it's a little tricky as to what he actually did. For those who don't know, Lil Yachty is one of these social media rappers, or ones who got their fame first on things like Instagram and then boosted themselves to popularity via their music later on. In fact, it's actually impressive the road that Lil Yachty took to get where he is today. He moved to New York, became a fashion model of sorts, networked all over the place, and more. Then as he started making music, people started liking it and even used it in popular YouTube videos and then people like DJ Khaled, Chance the Rapper, and others started to pay attention to him, which in his own way was very much deserved. So what led Eminem to diss him? Well look at the diss. I can see why people like Lil Yachty, but not me though. 
not even dissing, it just ain't for me. So by Eminem's own account, he's not technically dissing Lil Yachty, but in his own way, he is. And it just ain't for me. Bad clones and, and, and focusing on mumble rap. He also called out MGK and Iggy Azalea for copying. You see, if Eminem hates one thing more than his own haters, it's mumble rappers. And Lil Yachty is in that category. Granted, he's one of the better ones as he does his mumble rapping thing in a tongue-in-cheek way. But that doesn't mean that Eminem is up for it. He has nothing against the guy personally, but he really doesn't like what he represents. An age of rappers that don't focus on the flow and storylines, just music that they think sounds good because they made it. Ironically, Lil Yachty was actually cool with this, noting that he would actually F with Eminem in terms of beef if it was able to happen. Beefs do make people more popular, but being as it's already been a year since Kamikaze and there has been no further contact with the two, it's likely a dead thing. But that in and of itself is important because while these rappers love dissing these guys, sometimes, it's just that they're associated with the mumble rap genre that causes all the struggles. J. Cole. J. Cole. Maybe you might not be aware like exactly who you are. You know what I mean? Because I yeah. feel like you coming up right now and like your name is spreading every day. J. Cole may only be in his 30s, but he's been around the rap industry for a rather substantial amount of time. To the extent that at one point in time, he was the young rapper trying to make his name in the rap world and had to fight hard to get the respect of his peers and his fans. Sure enough, he did get it, and so now he's looking upon the next generation of rappers and isn't impressed by what he's seen, which usually is a petty kind of thing, but for him, it was a little purer than that. In 2018, he released a song called 1985, which was the year of his birth, and in the track, he talks about how he personally feels about being 33 at the time and how it's changed his perspective of things. But then he also decided to let loose on the mumble rapper generation and let them know how he personally feels about them and their quote, music. I know you think this type of revenue is never ending, but I want to take a minute just to tell you that ain't true. Them kids that's listening gonna grow up and get too old for that that made you blow up. Now your show's looking light cause they don't show up, which unfortunately means the money slow up. Now you scrambling and hoping to get hot again, but you forgot you only popped cause you was riding trends. Now you old news and you going through regrets cause you never bought that house but you got a Benz. Don't understand what he's throwing down? No worries, I'll explain. He's saying that unlike lyrical rappers who work hard on their songs to deliver an experience that is long lasting and memorable, as well as setting up their own brand and style, mumble rappers are doing the opposite. They're following trends and trying to put their own stamp on it, which is working for some like 6ix9ine, minus the jail part, Lil Pump, and more. But when they all get clumped together, it's hard to tell who is who, where you would never get Eminem, Drake, and J. Cole mixed up because of their different styles and lyrical flows. He's calling them out because he feels they need a wake-up call, and 1985 was actually a big diss track towards Lil Pump, one of the biggest mumble rappers, especially the line about him not having a house. Sure enough, after the song came out, he went and bought a $4.5 million house just to spite J. Cole, which is dumb as all get out, and a total waste of money. But if you think about it, this is what J. Cole was warning against, wasting money on frivolous purchases just to save face. So who was the real winner in that back and forth? Regardless, as you can clearly see, there is a divide in regards to what fame and fortune mean to these rappers. The OGs know to treasure it more. Sure, you can spend it, and the OGs definitely do, but there's a line and a limit, and they know that. But the young rappers just don't seem to. Logic. When it comes to the rapper known as Logic, he's never been as big as some of the other rappers in the industry, but he is an OG and has proven his skills and styles, as well as his rap speed, in all the ways that truly matter. And when it was clear that the younger generation, and even some of the older generation, weren't giving him respect, he teamed up with Eminem to make a song called Homicide. You're gonna see a lot of things in this music track and the accompanying video that is taking shots at mumble rap, but I want to focus on some of the things that Logic says in his verse. For example, here's one of Logic's lines. I'm foaming at the mouth, ain't nobody taking me out. Every single rapper in the industry, yeah, they know what I'm about. And I dare you to test me, cause not a single one of you impressed me. And maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I'm full of innovation. This is a shot across the bow, if you will. It's Logic calling out those who would dare to say that he's not one of the best in the industry. He's stating point blank that a lot of people in the rap industry, especially the mumble rappers, aren't creative. That they aren't trying to push the industry in a meaningful way that they're just trying to make money and better themselves instead of making good content. If that sounds familiar, it's because a lot of the people in the rap industry feel this way in regards to the OGs and lyrical rappers. They're trying to move the industry into a creative direction, but not the mumble rappers. They're stagnant in their flows and their minds. Logic can't take that, and neither can many more. And what do you guys think? Kendrick Lamar. Compton Native advised the ever-growing crop of rappers who associate themselves with the subgenre to acknowledge and respect the artists who paved the way before them. You must think that all the OGs have it out for the mumble rappers, but that's not really true. Some of them want to give them a chance. 
A great example is Kendrick Lamar who has been very big recently thanks to his soundtrack for Black Panther and more. In an interview, he noted how he feels about the younger rap generation. I want hip hop to continue to evolve. That's why I can't shun a lot of the artists that may not be a Kendrick Lamar. He went on, but this is what I tell them every time I see them. Be yourself and do what you do, but also know who laid down the groundwork. Don't go on your interview and diss them and say you don't like them and you don't care for them. That's your opinion, that's cool, but you have to respect them. So talking down on the folks that inspired us to do this, it'd never be right. You dig what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, as long as you be who you are, but respect to what got us here, that's how you continue to evolve. Very inspirational and very true to what many young rappers could and should do. But sadly, that doesn't happen very often. If you look at the mumble rappers like 6 9 Lil Pump, Blueface, and more, they take shots at OGs whenever they can because they feel they have the right to, even though they don't for numerous reasons. But will that stop them? Nope. Still, it's good to see that Kendrick Lamar has hope for the future, even if many OGs won't give them that much of it. And there you have it, a series of rapping OGs who make it very clear how they feel about the new age of rappers that are here in the world. Do you agree with their thoughts and their feelings on the subject? Who do you think can impress the OGs? Or is mumble rap doomed to be seen as lesser in their eyes? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe. I'm King Trending. And I'll see you next time. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. Did you want to win any of these items on the screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video.